Welcome back everybody to Forza Motorsport. So we're doing the last two races in the uh, Mustang Tour via the Wild Horses Championship. So we had a really, really um, difficult time in the previous episode. We only came 6th and 7th place for our first two races. So obviously that is not good. Usually our uh, first race is a little bit on the poorer side of things because it is in a stock car. But once we upgrade the car we usually do get into a better position. But for the first time I think ever we've actually came in a worse position than where we uh, started off in, in stock form. So, yeah, hopefully we can do a little bit better in these next two races. Um, we are in fourth overall for the championship, despite coming lower than both that, that position in both races. So, um, yeah, obviously the other com uh, the competition had also their own issues. So, yeah, so we're at Indianapolis um, Motor Speedway Grand Prix circuit for uh, five laps. So, uh, yeah, this should be more suitable for this car. We do have plenty of power and acceleration, and there is a good deal of, you know, fast parts to this course. There's obviously the start-finish line, which is really rather quite quick. Then there's a straight area opposite that, and then there's a little bit of a bank part as well that is also quite quick. So, yeah, hopefully the, the uh, firepower I have with this car finally flat. comes so in handy. Keep your eyes focused far down the track. And uh, does us a, uh, gives us a good race. There's nothing I don't like, uh, like less than, you know, having a poor race. And by a poor race, I mean stuck in 7th place and not gaining any time at all, like there was in the last episode. So, um, yeah. Let's hopefully put on a good showing. start at the very least so we don't have to deal with this car's worrisome uh, traction off the line spins its wheels Regardless, we are now finally in a better position than what we started off in, in the first race. Can we gain? Yes, we can. Come to third, because it's fourth. It's now fourth even. Uh, had a massive amount of understeer. Finally found a track where we're good at. This is quite at the very least. Since we are at a circuit that has the ability to have oval racing, I may as well talk about the fact that there is obviously the, I think it's the American Thunder Championship, which is based solely around uh, NASCAR, as they have added a few NASCAR vehicles to this game, to go along with the ones that are already there. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to bother with that championship, or that tour, or whatever it's called, because yeah, I'm not massively fond of racing at the best of times racing cars at the very least and then yeah when it comes to NASCAR it is at the end of the day going around in a circle. I know there's you know more to it in, in real life than that. There are tactics and you know keeping up the uh, consistency going round and round and round constantly and such but game wise it's just not interesting enough to me to do that. So, yeah, I'm not really sure if I'm going to do those championships. Certainly not in terms of recording, that is. Maybe we'll do them in my own time just to get the reward car. But, yeah, I just don't think I've got the required knowledge and interest of NASCAR to really in common. 
commentary on the uh, sport and such because I don't really know much about it. And yeah, competitive racing in real life also doesn't particularly interest me either, so I'm not likely to ever Three left. get properly into NASCAR anyway, so yeah, there's a lot of reasons why I'm just not highly interested in doing it. So I'll think on it, but I'm not likely to do so based on what I'm feeling about it right now. Struggling to gain on second here though. Even though this car is more suited to this track than it was in the uh, second race in the previous episode, it's still got plenty of corners to uh, deal with and that's not where we excel at. Upgrades. The second has continued to pull out a lead. We do gain quite a bit on this part, but enough to make up for the fact that we aren't as good in terms of handling. We have gained now, for some reason. Maybe there is hope yet. Definitely closer than we were last time. Final lap. Miracle, quite frankly. We're in the right car to gain in terms of straight line speed at the very least. Too much understeer. It kills us from there. Yeah. Close. A lot closer than we have been in the previous two races in the last episode, and third place is also 
substantially better than both of those races as well. So, well yeah, done. but the understeer there really did kill our momentum onto the final straight there. So, uh, yeah, but still, I'm pleased with that, and that means we crawl back up, crawl up to a second place. But as you can see, there are a gigantic 14 points between us and first. So, gaining first in this championship overall is looking highly unlikely, unless first place comes in last, where, as you can see, the uh, gain about, what, one point as 20th place has found out. So, if they did that, then we'd win. But, that's a big if. So, uh, yeah, let's get to that race. I think we might well be able to upgrade this in a little bit of a different way, maybe. Or give it something extra. Maybe reduce a bit of weight up front with a new hood. Nah. I'd like it, but because it reduces it by seven pounds, and seven pounds less up front would help. Maybe focus on handling a little bit more because we don't really need the speed. Yeah, let's knock that extra power out that we got. We do have plenty regardless. Um, let's juice weight up front with the hood. Let's give it the rear bumper to... No, we can't do that. Uh, we can at least do the front splitter. Ah, uh, that's the rear wing that they've been giving it. I don't like the look of it though. <laughs> I know it's stupid to base whether or not you're going to get something based on how it looks, but... Can't do any chassis reinforcement, unfortunately. Uh, we'll knock out some more weight with race anti roll bars. Can't give it a better clutch. Can give it a better transmission. I don't think we can find 4 pi to knock out of this car to um, give it the race one, but we can at least give it the sport one, which does help acceleration regardless flywheel or anything? No. Yeah, we've pretty much got this car up to uh, spec to be fair. Right, so that's fine. We've increased the handling and the acceleration and the braking in fact. Obviously it's nowhere near as quick at the top end anymore but that, quite frankly we do not need 203 mile an hour so uh, yeah that is no issues whatsoever. What are we able to do now? 199 which is hardly bad. So, uh, yeah, we're at Virginia International Raceway for three laps. I don't particularly like this circuit, to be honest. It's a little bit too complex for a car like this. It's a lot of different corners, some um, blind crests as well at times, which are hard to remember. So, uh, yeah. Virginia International it's not the kind of... and it's narrow, narrow as well, so as she just said there. Tight. So, uh, if you get I'm hardly in the smallest of cars. So, this could be uh, problematic, I feel get the feeling we're going to be dealing with a lot of heavy traffic. As a result, I'm going to whack the fuel right down to 50%. As low as it air to go, because I do like to have a little bit of a contingency just in case, but we need to save as much weight as possible to get this car as fast as possible. the front splitter will help the understeer we've been dealing with. That's the main reason for having it.
past. Just about. Yeah, it's a feared heavy traffic there has kind of held us right back. No idea where first place in the championship overall is, but he's definitely not in first place right now. Which is encouraging slightly, I guess. So even if he's a second or third, that's still not going to make enough points up even if we did get into first place. He has to be virtually last place. The car's definitely feeling better up front with that spider on. The new gearbox, yeah, it's definitely helping with the acceleration. At least one area where we can gain time. So here, come on, let's get some overtaking in. circuit when you look at it, it's probably it's only second of the Nürburgring for the amount of different kind of turns that it has for it. Total time can only okay, yeah, I'll take that on the chin, and that was quite clear. A bit too much on the, uh, on the grass there. These are not the kind of cars I'd take around here normally. time or where we were last lap. Lap 
last lap. Let's go. This car's a handful. The way it is now, imagine how it would have been if we hadn't done the upgrades. as it was last time, granted, but there's still this sun and it's just catching me out every now and then. this championship don't pick this car. I picked poorly quite frankly. It's fine on Indianapolis but everywhere else it's been pretty poor. Once again for seventh. How that's going to do us in the championship overall, I do not know considering it's com completely uh, topsy turvy because obviously we came sixth and seventh in the last episode and Good yet we got to there. fourth. We came third in the last race and got up to second. So, what's it going to do for us? We're going to drop down to third. Kind of expected that, can, to be honest come in 7th place, that's not going to do us all that well. But if we even if we came higher, um, even if we came 1st in fact, as you can see 1st place overall has only came of like, I think we were 3rd. So yeah, that's certainly not low enough for us to gain any, any significant amount of points over them to get the championship overall. So uh, yeah, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. Picking the wrong car can have disastrous results later down the line. And um, yeah, granted we could have upgraded it a little bit better. We could have easily done the front splitter and yeah, um, and gearbox, sport gearbox um, in the second race onwards, and that might have been a better choice. But you never know unless you experiment. And uh, yeah, we uh, unfortunately just experimented in a little bit late there. So uh, yeah, but still, nonetheless, that means we get the Celine S302 that we have uh, raced against in this championship as a reward car. So if it is fully viewable, we will do a review on it. Um, but like I said, at the very least, it will get a, uh, I think I said this in the last episode, it will get a um, drive around the Nürburgring in stock form. So uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be the minimum that we're going to do with the car, but hopefully we can do more of it. But nonetheless, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.